This your boy Big Creek. Yeah, you already know what it is, man. What's happening, bro, bro? You now rocking with the chaotic vibes. Yeah. Of DJ C Chaos. <laughs> On IndioRadio.com. Chip in this motherfucker with me. What yeah, up, sir? Yeah, sir. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Let him know. Yeah, man, last year, Chip in the building. Oh, I just came from rehearsal. You know, we just been rehearsal. Re- yeah, we been rehearsal. What you got going on? We'll talk about that. Little B two K. Nah, 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 nah. What nah, you nah. got going on? Nah, look, we just been rehearsing, man. Keeping keeping the show tight, making sure everything. You know what I'm saying? So that mean it, it sounds like tour on the way, tour on the way, shows um, on the way. Hopefully, big shit on the way. Yeah, we got some. We got some shit. We we trying to line up. Trying Chip, to you it probably out. are like the most. I'm not gonna say secretive, but like you, like you always got you got. I see you on the scene. I just was telling you, I see you yeah. on the scene all the time. Yeah, we always got some type of music, mm. but it's always just like, shh. I'm gonna let you know. Shh. Yeah, I ain't no real live nigga, bro. Like, I like to, I like to make my moves, and when they, when I make them, I like to make them count. Like, okay. It'd be a lot of loud talking going on. But like, but at, at the same time, this is the industry, dog. Yeah. You know, the loud. Sometimes the loudest nigga in the room is the is the one that go. I mean, where we at in these days, yeah, but you know. Like, you ain't trying to go, you trying to last. Basically. I ain't mad at that. Like, like. You said it. I've, right I've now. seen you transcend, like, like I was mm. just telling Pat, like, I've been knowing Chip for a minute. You yeah, know what I'm saying? We've been rocking with, like, yeah, some years. This is probably my fourth time coming up and in, getting interviewed. That's what I'm saying. And, yeah. and, and shout out to you, this is the first time you're on Chaotic Vibes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my but, man got um, his vibe going. <laughs> you know, you dig? Yeah. But, um,. It's like you're a familiar face, but it's always like I said, it's always just yeah. chip in and out. Like, like what's been going on? What's what's been holding you down? Um, no, we just did the deal with Dev Jam. Shout out to that. Um, just dropped my. Like first. you so why you so nonchalant? You just signed but, a deal I mean, with Dev Jam, big. I mean, Congratulations, yeah, a, my nigga. I don't, I don't like I I pat myself on the back. Like, yeah. When I go home, I don't. Yeah. Like, it's, not, it's not the end goal. So basically, when I what I be saying about it, niggas be so loud, bro. Mm-hmm. Niggas be burning they self out. Like when the niggas see you too many times, it's like that's a fact. It's like oh, right. especially ain't, in ain't nothing special about it. Especially in Atlanta. And then I like I like I always like to tell people I like to keep it about the music first and foremost. But yeah. we definitely just did the deal with Dev Jam. That was a big a big step in my career. Congrats. Um, so you know we just been. Did I see something with Sony as well? Yeah, a pub. We just did a pub okay. situation with Sony. Okay. Shout out to that. Yeah, definitely. It sound like you're getting your money right. Shout out to management. We're getting the bag. We get, you know we getting the bag right, but we get we, we but we we putting the stepping stones down for a long career. Okay. That's what it's really about, bro. Like okay. just understanding the music business, where it's going, where the money is, and how to go get it. And like, you and you've been you've been in the industry for a minute. Me and uh, yeah. me and Izzy over there was talking. I was talking to Plug earlier too. Yes. Yeah, uh, about uh. uh Chip and, and, and Rebel Gang yeah. to now. You know what I'm saying? So that's like, damn, I forgot you knew about all that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's that's a long time. So did it's a you, ten year period. That's a that's a ten year period. That's yeah. a ten year period though. I started when I was sixteen, now I'm twenty five. So that's a nine year period. So 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 how how did did was that a part of you having to learn the game? Cause you started so young, you yeah, were probably yeah. just throwing music on YouTube or throwing it wherever. What was popping in in those days? What, what was it? What, it was MySpace. Nah, was we was, we passed MySpace. We was like my this space. was like the point where like I was in high school, but we was just not getting on Facebook. Okay, they was just not letting okay. us get on Facebook. So, but Facebook was popping. But like I, like you said, I've been doing it since I was young, bro. Yeah. I, bumped, I bumped my head along the way, but mm-hmm. by God's grace, I was I started young enough. You know what I mean to where. My mistakes ain't like cave my career, and I could yeah. I could go back for two years and just yeah. be like, let me regroup and come back and still be young enough for it to make sense. Most definitely, but like, definitely brought my head along the way a couple times, a few yeah. times. You I got think, to. I think being young, I think I think being young in the game is probably yeah. like the best thing you could do because when you old and you fuck up and it's, it's like over with. It, yeah, you ain't got it's, too many more chances after that. I mean, you don't already you already don't get too many chances to start with. As a fact, you know what I mean. I, so. and, that, and that's one thing that like, like you 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 come over real resilient. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you're not gonna take that L. You gonna you gonna come back and because like I said like. We've always like even from from flat shows, you know what I'm saying? That yeah. was a couple years ago. Yeah, that was like but three it, years ago. But it, that was still like that's still a record I could drop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and now to come with um, the new record is just like yeah. 
homie still doing his things, homie still moving around. So how do, how do you keep that balance? How do you make it to where you don't just say fuck it? Like I'm pretty sure there's yeah. other shit going on where you can just be like, you know what, fuck it, we could just nah. Do like else. I had other shit going on, but I really had to like I was just telling somebody. They like, yo, you busy, you just came from rehearsal, now you finna do anything. I'm like, I'm trying to get all the money, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. And I had to understand that me playing around in the streets or whatever yeah. is not gonna get me a hundred million dollars, bro. Like that shit is not gonna work. You hear me? Okay. So I had to like cut off all outside distractions and just focus hundred percent on the music. The one foot in, one foot out tactic do not work when yeah. you're trying to make it in the business. That's a fact. You feel me? And then keeping in too. keeping your face is dangerous. Keeping your face card clean with you know what I'm saying with these corporations and yeah. stuff like that, like. So I really just had to focus and get my mind back right, but at the same time, find my sound. That was a big, another big part of me, like sitting back was me trying to figure out. I right, when I get this sound, I know this is my sound, yeah. And I'm stamping it, and we running with it. How, how so, did you How did you come about finding your sound? Like who you working with right now um, that help you do that? So like 2017, the end of 2017, I was me and Squat. Started working like real, real heavy. Mm -hmm. Squat Beast, a producer out of um, St. Louis. But he, he out here, but um, me and Squat started working on the From My Point of View project in yeah. 2017. We didn't know what it was going to be. We was just making just music, you know what I'm yeah. saying? We was just going in. And um, just over time, like me figuring out me figuring out what sound good and what don't sound good and what's, you know, what people like, what people attract to about my voice and yeah. my cadence and stuff like that. So. I don't want to give too much of the sauce out. Yeah. Niggas got to get it on their own. <laughs> I, I, had, I, I, had to, I had to figure out, you know what I'm saying, my my lane and just cruise in it. But, I mean, like, that, that's that's a hard task in itself, though. Just, like, yeah. even even from a DJ standpoint, you know what I'm saying, you got to find your lane, but that's not no easy shit to nah, do. it's not. It takes time. You know time. what I'm saying? And, and, but that, like, that, and that just goes back to show, like, <laughs> Patience and, 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 like I said, resilience and, like, yo, I'm not going to get this shit up. Like, I'm coming. And then, like, you surround yourself by – you almost you almost got a cheat code yeah. because you surround yourself by the big dog. Like, you like every time I see you, you yeah. with the big dog. So it's easy for you. I'm pretty sure it's easy for you to get on the phone and be like, hey. I don't even do that, though. I, I know. It's easy. But I know you got the – Give see, me the, that's you got the, back. You know what I'm that's saying? The, see, 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 that's the that's – the, that's the good part about it. Like, I had them connections, and yeah. them, you know what I'm saying? I could do that, but I don't do it because it's like people. All right, so I had a record that I was about to put out as my first single on the label with a mm -hmm. big feature and a big major producer. And I just, yeah. I looked, I'm like, you know, they overshadowing me. Yeah. Not necessarily on the song, but like when people see their names. Yeah, the name on paper. They're going to be like, oh, yeah. you got a cheat code. Eh. Yeah. But now, like, I came out on my first song on the label by myself and, and, and planted my feet in the ground, and now people understand, like, oh, this nigga dope without he don't need that. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's good to have that, but I don't like to use it because I like I want people to know me for me. You know what I mean? So I mean I feel I feel like it just do all right, so with uh when and if mm -hmm. well definitely when, but yeah. whenever you decide to drop the next project, right. are you gonna are you gonna load them up? Are you gonna, you know, tap oh, it? Oh, they on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> They own that shit. Okay. The next one loaded. I ain't gonna okay. care. It's loaded. Right. So, it's, so, it's, it's loaded. So we talking about nine years plus in yeah. the game. Right. And, and how do you transcend sound? Like we went from the futuristic. Yeah. Now we 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 totally different. You gotta like, you gotta you gotta be ahead of the curve sometimes. Like you gotta you gotta study. For yeah. one, you gotta understand what's hot right now, what's bubbling right now, what's old, what's what niggas is not on no more. And you gotta you gotta try to be the first one. It's like fishing. Yeah. And if you want, if you, I've never been fishing, so you never been to tell fishing. Me but I don't go fishing a lot. But I understand that the niggas who get to the water first gonna yeah. get more fish or oh, better yeah, fish. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be first to the water and understand. Second. If you first, you are gonna have more chances to try it. Yeah. While everybody else on their way, you can keep tr come yeah. back, try again, come back, try again. But you know, like they gonna be here in 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 six months. But shit, I got six months to figure it out. Yeah. So just being ahead of the curve and studying the time and understanding that the music is always gonna change and that the wave is gonna come and go. So so with that, do you have a a current inspiration like somebody you look to like okay that nigga hard? Um, I've been listening to a lot of people. I mean, it's a, most of the, mostly the people that I work with like it's, it's a dude out of L.A. named Zakari. Did you move to L.A.? Nah. I, well, at one point, it looked like you I was, was just, living out there. You were just shit, out there all the time. I might as well have. <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I, was I, just, I was out there like a week 
a, a week at a time, come home for a day, go back out yeah. there for a week, come home two days, go back. Okay. I thought we was all like, shit, shit, move, man. Chip ain't in the A no more. Nah, I'm, uh, eventually, it, it's too early for that, bro. Niggas be jumping the gun, moving to LA. What's, what's, what is, like, what's the hype? I don't understand the hype. The weather. <laughs> shit is hot here. Getting out of the, getting out of the, you know what I'm saying? They, they just getting regular. Getting yeah. out of the regular thing. I can but feel it. I can feel LA it. LA is... It's I awful. just see every rap. It seems like every, every time a rapper get a song on the radio, it's like LA is the next move. I mean, you got even even like producers. Like you see producers yeah. huddle up and shoot out to LA. I mean, like I, it must be of, like something. It's in a the lot air. of songwriters in LA. It's a lot of like you said, a lot of producers. Yeah, LA was the first people to play my even count on the radio. Mm. Just incredible and power when I said they were the first station to play my before anybody in Atlanta played it. LA was playing mine on the radio. So is that because LA showed love or is that just where you was pushing the record? I wasn't even we wasn't even putting really no push on it. Like yeah. they, they came to the studio when I was working on the stuff and they okay. heard it and it was just a hey man, whenever you put this shit out, you're gonna support. Yeah. So it was just like a they was on it. Soon as it dropped. Soon as it dropped. So they was on it. But um I remember when we were talking about oh artists I'm inspired. Yeah. Uh, like I said, it's a dude in LA named Zakari. Uh, he signed the TDE. Mm. Um, Brent Fires, he dope. Um, uh, who was that? He sing on the crew song. He was um. Thinking from D. From, thinking from DC. I DC? think. I'm thinking from DMV. Um. Somebody from Florida introduced me to his music. Yeah, him. nah, he dope. Yeah. Um. It's a lot of people, bro. I listen to everything. Like I've been, I've been listening to the Lil Nas X Kid yeah. record, like. I love, I love what he's doing. That, I think that's hard. I think From it's the different. west side of Atlanta, bro. Yeah, I think that's got hard. Got the number one song in the yeah, world. Got the number one song and probably going to have the number two song in the world in this yeah. So, I, like, you you spoke on L.A. being the first people to play your song. Like, yeah. Do you feel like the love in Atlanta's changed? Do you think, or you think it's like, like, I get a lot of people who say Atlanta's, like, we, we're the hub, yeah. but we're always last to jump on it. Like, we got to have somebody else jump on it first. That's true. And... More so than that, I think it's so many people in Atlanta for the, for that need to be supported. Yeah, it's like how do you pick who's gonna go at what time? It's like I these group of TJs got this artist that they in love with. Yeah, these group of TJs got this artist they in love with. They might both be dope, but it's like ah, right, we can't. It's like a it's weird, bro. It's like a door. The door gonna open for one nigga every couple months. Yeah, That's he go, he That's gone. Yeah. Close the next nigga get ready to go through the door. It's just like, um, I just like to say it's, it's so many people for for. It's a lot of people to to support. It's a it's a, whole, it's a like, good thing. It's a good thing. Uh -huh. I don't want to say it's a bad thing, but it's a good thing. But sometimes I look at it like, damn, like I right, bro getting his shine right now. But I know if I keep going at the rate I'm going, I'm gonna get my time too. And it's all about what you do when you get your time. Yeah. How many points you gonna score when you get the ball? Me and uh, I had plug in here yesterday, and uh, we was talking. I was like, I made a reference like I'd rather mm. put everybody on the bus than take them clean. Because you can't put everybody on the plane, but I can load the bus up. We can keep all of them on the plane. So it's like, it, it's, it's, it's a whole bunch of motherfuckers in Atlanta. Yeah. Shout out to everybody in Atlanta working. But um, yeah, sure. it, at the same time, like you said, it's hard. Like, cause even like I get people who call. Not playing the record, it's like, bro. I'm gonna get to it. Like, oh, I ain't nobody. I, dog, it's not even like I could have your record. I got have your, yeah. I, I DJ every day. Right. You know what I'm saying? I cannot play everybody I support. That's what I'm saying. Every it's day. There's so much shit that's hot right that's now. That's what I'm saying. It'll take, it, take longer than your set time to get all the records that you love. I would never and that's play hot. nothing hot if I just played. Everybody I'm supporting. Right. Like, that's how many people is hot right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. they just like, you know, you get a phone call like, bro, you ain't fuck with me. Like, bro, I fuck, I fuck, fuck with you. Fuck with yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga, it's Saturday. Let, let me breathe. You it know might what not saying? be the right crowd for a certain record. Like. And that's what I try to explain to people, too. Like, people believe, you know, I get in the crowd and it's just whatever that I play, they go nice. Like, like, bro, it's a I flow. Can't, you got to flow. I can't just, I'm not going to magically make you a superstar tomorrow. It don't, it don't work you like know that. what I'm saying? Yeah. But, um, so just speak on speak on the new records, man. Like speak on what we got coming out. So, What's out um, right now? So we just dropped Even Count. That was the first record on the label, um, produced by OG Parker, T Romano, Brian Yepes, G Ry. Um, Is this your first record with uh? OG? Um, it's the first one we put out. Oh, okay. I feel like y'all have worked together before. So. Me and Parker got hella shit. Yeah, we 
I mean, Parker got so like, many. Like, that's what I'm like, you got so many relationships and connections in the yeah. city, man. Like, I know you, I know you got records with the big dogs and the ones who can really yeah. just that real up down up it's down L one. Right, right, right. Well, it's a time <laughs> and a place for everything, bro. Like you, so you looking for more of the organic look, the more genuine of support. That's what niggas should want. I don't want to. Nah, that's not like we're not gonna sit here and say niggas ain't going in the label saying, "Give me the cheat code, let's go." Bro, the faster you pop, the faster you gonna unpop. <laughs> that's that's I, that's I, what it seems. I, I heard Tory Lane say, "Bro, he said I'd rather build a solid foundation and build my house than just scrape build my house because." Your shit gonna crumble That's eventually. Yeah. Like yeah. so, like he said, for an artist, when you put out a record and it's popping, they fucking with you, right? And then you don't put out nothing for six months. If they still not supporting your catalog or your music in that time that you not putting out no music, they gonna forget about you. Most definitely. So by the next time you put out a song, it's like, okay, he got to start back over from the bottom. But if you build that foundation, it's like, all right, they growing with you. They rocking with you all the way till you put out the next one, and then you keep building on that. You keep building on that, but it's like you know, that Chico shit is a gift and a curse, bro. That shit is some. It'll get you up there. It get you up through that real fast. Yeah. And niggas will forget you about niggas will forget about you real fast. That's the most definite. So let's get into uh, even count right now. Yeah, Introduce that motherfucker. So this this last strip chip right here checking in. Um, this is my new single even count available everywhere right now. Make sure y'all go grab that and check that out for me. These niggas be mad and sit on their ass, but fuck it, I'm bossing up I got in my bag, no, I got them mad, that's why I don't talk too much Yeah, you got a swag and I got a swag, but your shit don't cost as much, no I don't know why you be capping, going outside, these niggas be flawed as fuck, dog. Might jump out the six and jump in the bins, bitch Hope you come with a friend 